All right, so I'm just going to log in with the default username and password, root and tor. Uh, if you download Kali Linux, I've got this from uh, the Offensive Security website, which I can also bring up. And I'll paste the link into the chat for those that are curious. One second. Offensive Security. Kali Linux. Yeah, what's great is that they already have some virtual machines that... Um, that you can download. So they've already they already have them pre-configured with OBS Streamlabs. Not sure what that's about. Um, so this terminal um, allows you to easily navigate throughout the Linux directory system. Um, I'm a root user, so let's do an ls. I might be in the home directory. Yeah, so this is gonna be all the directory files. So think if you're on a Windows system, when you go to your user folder, what do you see there? You see documents, pictures, movies, those folders, as well as other items. So when you first log into the terminal, you'll be taken to your user's home directory, uh, but that's not the overall directory for Linux. If you wanna see everything, what I wanna do is I could do a CD, do a forward slash, and if I hit enter, um, now, you won't see anything changed a lot except for you see on the terminal, it has my username and it has a forward slash. Um, so that indicates, the forward slash indicates I'm in the root directory of Linux. So if I do an ls, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. It was looking slightly different. I've been switching between min, uh, Linux Mint and, and uh, CentOS and everything. But this is the root directory for Linux. So you have folders such as home, which will have the directory structure if I had other users, it would have um, it would list those. Um, you have etc, dev, boot, opt. This is everything at the the root of the Linux file structure. Um, now Linux, <laughs> you can technically delete all the files on the server or on the machine. That's one of the things when you're a root user. A lot of times, unless you don't have to be, you actually don't want to be a root user. You want to be another user. Um, so let's just go ahead and just start off with some of our first very simple commands. Let's say I want to add a new user on the system directly from the terminal, I could do add user, and I'm gonna say a username, let's just say Trey, uh, hit home. So it's created the new user, and it gives you some information about it. So not only does it create a user, but it creates a group of that username as well. So I have a user called Trey, and I have a group called Trey. This allows me to add different permissions. So I can add people to the group of Trey if I wanted to, um, and other things. Um, now, I, my user gets an ID value, uh, the group gets an ID value, and the user has a home directory, um, so where their files will reside for just them. Uh, so it's going to be forward slash home and then tray, and then it's copying some skeleton files, essentially just setting up. So now I want to set up a password. All right, and it gives you some additional information if you want to fill it out. You don't have to. Um, so I'm just going to enter all the way through because uh, I don't care about all this stuff. All right. So if I do an ls on the home directory, I should have that folder for Trey now. So now Trey has a folder on the system. Trey is a regular user. So let's say we want to change to that user. How do we do that? I want to say it's su Trey. So now I'm the user called Trey. And because I was root, uh, it's easy for me to change to that user. Let's go ahead and try something here. Let's go ahead and log out of root and we're going to log in as tray all right and i can verify that i'm the user tray by opening up a terminal and you see i have tray in the um, command terminal i can also do a who am i this is a very good function that you'll see a lot of times um, you can just ensure who are you on the system or who are you currently in the terminal uh, if i wanted to i can try to change to the root user it should prompt me for the root user's password. Um, so I put in the root user's password, and now I'm the root user. I will also remain in the directory um, for where I was when I did the change. So I'm in Trey's home directory right now. So if I do ls, yeah, so nothing fancy right there. And then to exit that root user, I'll do exit. There you go. And now I'm back to Trey.